Vail gets a new parking structure with $4 million from Vail Resorts. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, today is Election Day in Frisco. Residents are voting on two ballot measures, one that grants municipal oversight of local broadband and one that could convert a downtown pocket park and community center into affordable housing. Residents also vote for council members. Ballots are due to town hall by 5 p.m. today. All other towns canceled their elections and will swear in new council members this month. Tune into Crystal 93 News tomorrow morning for those election results. The town of Vail breaks ground today on a new parking structure, the third in town. This from the Vale Daily, the red sandstone garage is on the north side of Interstate 70 across from Lion's Head Village. The structure costs $15 million total with $4.3 million coming from Vale Resorts. It will be the third public parking structure in Vale and should be ready by this September. In Breckenridge, Town Council is getting ready to approve a $32 million parking structure that will be downtown by the Riverwalk Center. U.S. ski team founder Bob Biatti died Easter Sunday with his family in Fruta. He was 85 years old. Biatti coached for the CU Buffs in the late 50s and then became founding coach for the U.S. ski team. He lived in Aspen for five decades and mentored World Cup legends like Billy Kidd, Steamboat native Buddy Werner, and Jean-Claude Keeley. To them, he was known simply as Coach. If you're heading into the backcountry today, avalanche danger in Summit and Eagle Counties is low at all elevations. The problem today is wind slab on northeast through southeast aspects. In sports, the Rockies beat the Padres last night 7-4. The Avalanche lost to the Kings one goal to three. The Rockies and Padres play again tonight. First pitch is 8-10, and the Nuggets play the Pacers at 7. The Avalanche have the night off. In local sports, girls soccer plays rifle in rifle today, and boys lacrosse plays Steamboat Springs in Steamboat. Track and field has a JV meet in Glenwood. And the Breckenridge Vipers will get back on the ice next weekend, April 13th to 15th, for a three-game series against rivals Vale Yeti in Vale. Best two of three games gets a trip to the league championship in Las Vegas this May. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.